Find shapes and shapes, lesson 12.6. We can find shapes and other shapes. In this triangle, we can find a little triangle and a trapezoid. We could also find four triangles. We can also use the same pattern blocks to make different shapes. Here we've got a rhombus and we used two trapezoids and two triangles. See? We can rearrange them and use the same number of pattern blocks to make a new shape. We have two trapezoids and two triangles. We made a new shape. Circle the two pattern blocks that can make this shape. So we want to make a hexagon, don't we? So we're going to use these two, these two, these two, or these two. We can draw a line to show our model and see that if we put two trapezoids together, we'll make that hexagon. See? Which two shapes make this shape? This kind of looks like a house, doesn't it? If we draw a line, we can see a triangle and a square. We put these two together, we would make that shape, wouldn't we? So we would use this shape and this shape. Which three shapes make this shape? Well, we could draw a line here, and I see a triangle and a square but it wants three shapes. If we split the square into two triangles, then we would have three shapes. We could go one, two, three, couldn't we? And we'd make the same shape. See? Let me move it down a little bit. See? So we can use three triangles, can't we? We can use these and make that shape. Make this shape, write how many of each shape we use. So it wants us to make this parallelogram right here. We need to use three shapes to make this parallelogram. If we use a trapezoid and a triangle, it would make the parallelogram, but that's one, two shapes, so it's not these. If we used two rhombus, that would make that shape, but again, that's only two shapes. It wants three. What if we put three triangles together? Would that do it? Hmm. Well, that makes a trapezoid. What if we put a rhombus and two triangles together? Look at that. We made that shape with three shapes. We used two triangles and one rhombus, and we made that shape. Now we need to use five shapes to make this shape. I can see a triangle right here, can't you? And a parallelogram. So if we try to use a trapezoid and a triangle, and another triangle, we can make that shape, but we need five shapes. That's only one, two, three. So that won't do it. If we use two rhombuses and a triangle, we could make that shape, but again, that's one, two, three. What if we put all the triangles together? Look, we made the same shape, 
and we used one, two, three, four, five triangles. We did it. It's just splitting it up, isn't it? We've got a triangle there and there. See? One, two, three, four, five triangles. My lines aren't perfect, but it would look like that, wouldn't it? We need to use four shapes to make this shape. If I draw a line here, I can see two hexagons. So we need four shapes, though, not two. So two hexagons aren't going to do it. We could use one hexagon and two trapezoids. That would make it, but that's one, two, three shapes. We need four shapes. What we need to do is put two more trapezoids together. And look, now it looks like this one, and we have one, two, three, four shapes. So four trapezoids. It worked. Circle the pair of shapes that make this shape. What shapes do we see here? I see a rectangle and a triangle. So the square wouldn't be big enough, and it wouldn't quite make that shape. If we put the rectangle and this triangle together, that would make it. Pair means two. One, two shapes. We have a pair of shapes that make that shape. This one is part of a circle and a rectangle, and it curves on this edge, so that's not quite it. So we could use a rectangle and a triangle. Circle the three shapes that could make this shape. We could draw lines to try to find the shapes in here. Go like this, and I see a hexagon. We have a hexagon and two squares. If we went like that, I see a hexagon and two squares, so that would work. Do you see three more shapes that would work? The two triangles would be too small. They wouldn't be big enough. We wouldn't have enough to make the hexagon. And then this part, we would need two squares, and there's only one there, so that one won't work. What if we put two trapezoids together to make the hexagon and then used this rectangle for this part? That would work. So we would have a rectangle and two trapezoids. So that one would work also, wouldn't it? So we could make that shape in different ways, can't we? We can find shapes in shapes. Here we have a big hexagon. And we can find six triangles inside of a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. We could also find one rhombus right here and one, two, three, four triangles. We could also find two rhombuses and two triangles. We could also find three rhombuses. Kind of looks like a 3D cube, doesn't it? A three-dimensional cube. We could put a trapezoid and three triangles to make the hexagon. We could use a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a triangle and make the hexagon. We could also use two trapezoids. So look at these different ways that we split the hexagon up. We need to circle the groups of shapes that split the hexagon into equal parts or equal shares. So what if this was a pie or a cake or a big cookie, and you wanted to share it with people, and everybody wanted the same size piece. That would be equal parts or equal shares, and it would be fair, wouldn't it? So which of these ways would give people an equal share of that dessert? If everyone got a triangle all the same size, that would be equal. This one, somebody would get a big piece, and then four people would get little pieces, so that's not fair. 
Here there's two big pieces and two little pieces. That's not fair. Here there's three trapez three rhombuses. That would be fair. Everybody would get a rhombus cut shape. Somebody would get a big piece and three people would get little, so that's not equal shares. Big piece, medium piece, little piece, that's not equal shares. Here there's two equal shares, two trapezoids, so that whoever's sharing the dessert would get the same size and that would be fair. See? Equal shares, equal parts. We split a shape into pieces that are the same size. Okay? Our next lesson is take apart two-dimensional shapes. That's lesson 12.7. And right after that, we're going to be starting fractions. Okay? So keep playing with shapes and see how you can find shapes inside of other shapes. Okay? Get some construction paper or some poster board and see if you can do it. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.